Oh, example one is a direct application of the equations and to check the deformation of a structure. Okay, the frame is shown here. Uh, it consists of a horizontal rigid bar that is supported by two columns, column one and column two. Okay, or column one and column two. Uh, but these two columns are made with different materials. Okay, the one, uh, the column one has a uh, uh, coefficient of thermal expansion that is eight microstrain per degree Celsius. And uh, column two, the material has a CTE of 15 microstrain per degree Celsius. It's larger than uh, the material of column one. Okay, determine the angle of rotation if the temperature of system is increased by 90 degrees Celsius. Right, this is a positive number, increased by a positive number, meaning that these systems will be, it will be heated. Okay, so these two columns will tend to be elongated. Okay, this uh, column one will be expanded this much, assume that. Then this uh, column two will be expanded more or less, more or less, will be expanded more, right? Because uh, the alpha two is larger than alpha one. So it will be elongated to here. Right? We just uh, draw a uh, parallel line to the original rigid bar. Right? And then you can see here, if connected here, we get an angle here. This is the angle we are calculating. Okay, the angle of rotation if the temperature is increased. Okay, we're calculating this angle. Okay, let's see uh, how, to, how to do it. Okay, so uh, as we just analyzed, to solve this problem, the key is to find uh, how much these two columns will be expanded. Okay, one will be expanded to here, two will be expanded to here. Then we're calculating this angle. Okay, uh, so the delta one thermal ex thermal expansion, the uh, thermal deformation of uh, of uh, column one will be calculated from alpha one delta t times l one. Okay, that is just l. Okay, l l one l two equals equal l, both equal l. Okay. Um, here it will be eight times ten to negative six times ninety or times L one that is two hundred fifty millimeter. Right, then we'll get zero point one eight millimeter. Okay. So in the same way the delta two can be calculated from alpha two delta T L two. Okay, here we got fifteen micro strain per degree Celsius times 90 degree Celsius times 250. Okay, we will get um, 0 0.3375 millimeter. Then we can calculate uh, this, 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 doubt, this uh, theta, this angle of rotation, right? Since we have no, in this triangle, in this triangle, we have known that here this side length is A, and what is the side length here? Okay, do we know this? The side length here will be just uh, the difference between uh, delta one and delta two. Okay, so tangent theta equals what? Tangent theta in this case equals delta 2 minus delta 1 over A. Right? So that is 0 0.000563. If this is a small enough number, well, as we uh, introduced before, when this number is, is this small, much smaller than 0 0.1, right? so approximately the theta just equals tangent theta, equals uh, inverse tangent theta, etc. Right? This uh, the um, theta just equals zero point zero 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 five six three radian, right? Or 
563 micro radian.